What is up guys, it's Mikey Tamimo here, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and most of all, welcome to the Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of the Hashishin, aka Baliar, and uh, we're gonna continue where we left off in the previous part of this episode, which was part 2, I'm gonna continue, finish, uh, Torellis, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, that this will be the last part of this episode, but I cannot say in advance, so there's only one way to find out, and that's by playing. Alright, so let's talk with the orcs around here, well, with its leader, but first, Damn, Mora, what is it? I want to fry some meat, uh, orc. If I may, that is. Watch What's your wrong? step here, or you might erase all traces. What happened here? I'd like to know that, too. This farm was just fine until a few days ago. There were four peasants living here. Now they are all gone. And the farm is completely trashed. Who could have done that? Well, if I knew that, I'd be chasing after them now. There's a cave over to the west. I've seen some beasts there. They look mighty dangerous. Maybe they made this mess here. Thoris wants to know why he hasn't heard anything from this farm. I bet he does. Well, you can see for yourself that there's nobody left here. I could have a look inside this suspicious cave for you. Do that. You should probably just kill anything that's alive there. But don't get yourself eaten. Right, so let's handle the saber-toothed tigers. Wakey wakey! Wakey wakey! Wakey wakey! Uh. 
Where's the other saber tooth tiger? Excuse me, orcs, I want to die, you know. Thank you. No, there should be two more, since one of them has fled. Wakey, wakey! Is it wrong to be smart? Food for the worm. All right, so let's get the last one. Wakey, wakey! Stop that beast! There are even more of the beasts! Food for the worms. I hope you have a good reason for it. In the cave to the west, I found nothing but a pride of saber-toothed tigers. They seem to be pretty distraught. I don't think that they made this mess on the farm. Damn it. And me hoping this wouldn't get too complicated. Complicated? What do you mean? Lately, I have seen some rangers roaming about up in the northern woods. 
I wouldn't be surprised if those bastards were responsible for the devastation here. You think that rangers could have done this? Don't underestimate these people. They are a belligerent lot. When they show up in numbers, they can be a serious threat. What should I do? Rangers are often led by a druid. Find out if their druid gave the order for this mess here. And if he did, kill him. Which I will do once I go to um, the next city, which is Geldon. Because it's connected as well towards the quest in Geldon. So I can't do anything about it at the moment. Shut up, Orc! Of course I can go to it, you know, in order to complete the quest, which I will do, but I cannot kill him yet due to the fact that I have to liberate, well, get the rebel underground ready in uh, Geldern in order to get, you know, the uh, druid stone of the snapper. It's not that I have to get it legitimately, but I do it because it's a quest, and quests give more XP if you just complete it instead of uh, neutralize it. So I gotta play it smart. So let's quickly go to the druid and then I'm gonna TP back to Trellis. Oh, Cosmana, totally forgot. Because despite the fact that I'm not gonna work, you know, for uh, the water mages, I will have to make sure that I can get the ranger's armor, and therefore I need ranger's reputation till about 50% uh, ish or more. I'm gonna try to get it 100%, you know, since I'm still a member of the ring of water. But sadly but true, I do have to kill the water mages. Because uh, since I'm gonna work, majority speaking, for the Hashishin, well, then I need to get 100% reputation with the Hashishin, since I did that with the rebels as well as with the orcs. And to get 100% reputation with the Hashishin, I need to kill all the water mages, including Vatris, Satyrus, Riordian, Medarian, Kronos, etc. You know, so let's talk with this guy. You're too loud. You're scaring off all the game. I am Torn, druid and warrior of Abnos, and you are different from the others. Where do you think you know me from? You are restless, Decider. Without a country. I know that. You are like me. If you are in one place too long, you no longer feel alive. You are a warrior of Adenos? See what the beasts of Beliar have done in their avarice? There are very few humans who can live free and without fear. I am the terror that will fall upon the orcs if they dare to attack the woods. 
Teach me to fight like a druid. I know who you are, Decider. And so, I also know that your path is not determined by the gods. How do I know that you won't use the power of the druid stones against us druids? <laughs> Tell me about the druid stones. They are the sacred stones of Adnos, the source of our being. They are six in number. Six, like the number of their masters. In each of them lives the power of an animal. My stone is the stone of the snapper. Like he said, you know, there are six uh, druid stones. You've got the ripper beast, the snapper, the wolf, the lizard, the lurker, and uh, what was the other? The lion, that one. So those are the six druid stones that you can get. Put me to the test. Go to Geldern and convince the humans there to fight at your side against the orcs. Then I will teach you druid magic, Decider. The orcs believe that you destroyed a farm near Trellis. And they're damn right. I did. Humans like those farmers who work for the orcs only make things worse for everyone. I can't stand by and watch while humans let themselves be enslaved just to extend their miserable existence. Better dead than a lackey of that brood of Beliar. I won't rest until the seed of evil has vanished from our woods. Some people, even on the Endenos, are a bit evil, like this guy, you know, he slaughtered innocent farmers. I don't call that very peaceful. You're all right. I can already get it, well, aside from having the gold issues, you know, I can get it. Um, so what can I sell? I don't need that one anymore. Since, you know... Well... Well, mm, well, if I need a new one, I can craft it, so... Might as well sell it for a bit of gold. If the world does corrupt my friends, in gold you trust. Now, uh, saber-toothed teeth are also quite related in Nordmar, so keep about uh, 10 of them. I think it was 12, so let's say 15 to 20. 20 to be safe, 15 to be, uh, you know, I think it were 12, but I'm not 100% sure, so let's say 20. I'm a poor bugger. So be quiet. Torn the druid raised this farm and killed all the peasants. That swine. I thought as much. Good work. Here's some gold for you. I hope you killed Torn for this. Uh, no. <clears throat> Too bad. Then I will have to see to it myself. Have you got a message for Thoris? Tell him not to expect anything from this farm anymore. It's a goner. I hope you have a good reason for waiting. Alright, so, um, let's quickly, the only two things that I still have to do is a Tempak and the Temple, Milok Sword, which I can find at the Temple, Ben Shovel, which I can find at the Temple, but I do want to regenerate first, so I'm going to use the farm up there to uh, sleep till the morning. Hey, stranger, did you hear anything about the rebels in Nemora? What do you know about Nemora? Nemora is a rebel camp to the west. Those guys up there are really well organized. Do you know where Nemora is? Well, I've been there before. I observed them for days. 
but I never found the courage to show myself. I wish I had now. I wouldn't try again to go there by myself. What do you want from the rebels? Some of them were here a few days ago. I would have loved to go with them. I'm tired of working on the farm here. Living in freedom is better than being a slave to the orcs. Man, what do you want? Sleep till morning, if I may. Thank you for your generosity, sir. What are you doing on my farm? If you've come to collect the rent, forget it. The rebels came and pillaged everything. There's nothing left to take here. Rebels attacking harmless citizens? Those layabouts are only hiding in the woods so they won't have to do any decent work. How are you going to pay your tribute to the orcs if you have nothing left? Right now, the orcs have other things to worry about. The orcs won't be around here much longer if you ask me. Soon the Hashishan will take over everything, and then the deck will be reshuffled. The Hashishan want to take over the Midlands? Oh, what do I know? At any rate, I've been seeing more Hashishan here than orcs over the last few weeks. The Verant Desert begins not far from here, to the south. Go see the magnificent buildings they've erected there for yourself. I refuse to believe the orcs are letting them do that out of the goodness of their hearts. The orcs are scared of them. That's what I think. You don't really seem to mind the orcs hanging around. I don't care who I work for, king or orcs. It makes no difference. Somebody or other is always ruler of the Midlands. What about your rent, then? I already told you that the rebels attacked me. Nonsense. Rebels will attack orcs or orc mercenaries, but never farmers. If you say so. Two days ago, three rebels came to my farm from the west. Their leader was called Hingley, or something like that. He and his men turned my entire farm upside down and took whatever they could find. Where did Hengli go with your gold? They headed back to the west where they came from. I'll investigate it, sir. Because of the generosity. I heard that the rebels raided Farman's farm. So what? They never harmed me. I see. All right, so let's go to the temple. Put away your weapon.
better take a break. You'd better not get too close to the temple, Mora. How are the excavations going? Not good at all. I'm supposed to collect artifacts and other relics here, but I don't know where I should get them. There's nothing more to be had out here. And 20 snappers couldn't drag me back into the temple. So 21 could. What's wrong with the temple? It's swarming with undead, Mora. You'd better not mess around with those disgusting beings. Have you ever been in the temple? I most certainly have. My group here used to be twice as big. But then suddenly, all these skeletons came out of the ground and attacked us. What you see here is the battered remains of my people. The others were lost in the temple. Are there any survivors in the temple? I don't know. Someone will have to look. But I won't do it. That much is certain. I get the picture. Thoris expects the excavations here to start producing again. Oh, does he now? The bastard isn't even here. He doesn't have to deal with this stupid temple. Nilok is looking for his old sword. Don't bother me with that old story, Mora. It could be that I brought it here with me, but I don't really remember. I don't have time for that sort of nonsense. Of course you don't. All right, so let's go with the undead. Kick their asses and get the shaman out of there. I think his name was Kamak.
should be more on that here. At least I think it were more. Two skeleton, one Templar. One zombie, that's it. Alright, that's a bit uh, less than I expected. But I'm not gonna complain. Well, what the fuck? May Beliar protect you, Mora. I almost took you for one of those disgusting undead. I thought I would be left to rot here forever. Tempek has given up the search for survivors in the temple. That's just like him. His fear far outweighs his honor. I never found out how he managed to become an overseer. He would be better off herding sheep, the coward. Can you walk? You're about to see if I can. Come on, let's get out of here. Indeed, my friend, indeed. Thank you for your help, Mora. I would never have found the courage to face the undead by myself. Take these potions as a token of my gratitude. I found a survivor in the temple. Kamek the Shaman. Thank Beliar. Kamek's death would have been a great loss for the Orcish people. Thanks for the good news, Mora. What should I tell Thoris now? Tell him I'm breaking my back here. The Mora will have his delivery soon. If you say so. Show me your goods. Right, so let's quickly deliver Ben Shovel. Was a bit too close to comfort. I have your shovel. You owe me something. Um, you were really in the temple? As you can see. But, but there were these horrible... Undead. One thing I've got to give you. You're brave. You forgot something. 
What? Cash, pal. <laughs> Out with it. Sometimes I've seen the farmer Derek creeping over to the Eno statue at night. Take a look around. He's definitely got something stashed away there. Already have it, but... Thanks for the uh, info, nevertheless. Mm, with whom can I train my staff? Uh, let's go to Redick. The mage there can certainly teach me the a better use of staff. Because as long as I do not have my uh, dual-wielded one-handed capabilities, I have to be applied to the staff. You got some arrows? Show me your goods. You do, good man. Teach me something about ancient magic. I want to improve my skill with the staff. Your opponent will always underestimate a staff. It doesn't seem as dangerous as a sword or an axe. Use that. There are maneuvers that aren't possible with a sword. If you surprise your opponent, you've almost won. You aren't ready for that. You don't have enough gold with you. How much gold do I need? 2,500. Maybe I manage. Show me your goods. Now I don't really need all these spells, so I'm just gonna sell them because I need the gold. Got the gold already, but let's sell all the junk. I'm gonna sell the goblets to the rebels so that they are. The rebel underground will reveal itself in every city. Um, well yeah, let's uh, get magic staves. Teach me something about ancient magic. Show me how to use magical staves. Take the staff in your hands and feel its energy. Probe this energy and bring it into harmony with your spirit. Only then can you merge the powers of the staff with your own. Ahem. Carry on like that. You don't have enough gold with you. No, I do not. Not yet. Soon I do. Show me your goods. I have a little bit of help, thank you. That's the way. Carry on. Gotta keep it nice and clean. Thank you, sir. Alright, so let's deliver the quests at Trellis. The excavations at the Eastern Temple are on track again. It's about time. Not much longer and I would have gotten in trouble from above. Here is your pay, bastard. The farm to the west has been devastated. No one is left alive there. I knew it. I can only hope that this is an isolated incident. Otherwise, you'll be dependent on the caravans. And that will be expensive for Trellis. Here is your pay. Those sneaky ogres are guaranteed not to bother anyone ever again. Good. One less thing to worry about. Here is your pay. Thank you, sir. Now I cannot steal the chests yet. But I will take the gold.
too hard. Stop! Not one step further! Let me in. All right, but behave yourself. All right, I'll behave. I found your old sword. Really? Show me. Indeed. This is it. Where did you find it? At the excavations in the Eastern Temple. I knew it. Tempek did pocket it. The dog thanks Mora. For that, you'll get something from me. Will you teach me how to be a smith now? You help me, I'll help you. That which is old. Still miss one quest, apparently. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I cannot do that one yet. Alright, so let's talk with uh, the leader. Why are you disturbing my council of war? Speak! Council of war? The war is over. Little smartass. You humans have been subdued. No serious threat can be expected from you anymore. Nevertheless, I must attend to the balance of power in this part of the country. Who could challenge the power of the orcs? I said nothing of challenge. I said balance of power. The Hashishin are our allies. They let us conduct excavations in their desert. Furthermore, they grant us unobstructed access to their desert and their cities. For that, we pay them a heap of gold. But despite their friendship, someone has to make sure they don't get too strong. And that is my task. You're preparing for a war with the Hashishin? We are on the edge of the desert here. If the Hashishin send a sizable army into the Midlands, I will get warning from here first. If this castle falls, nothing will stop the Hashishin from entering the Midlands. I want to prevent that. Tell me more about your alliance with the Hashishin. The Hashishin were very helpful in the war against the Moras. They took care of that part of the world which we orcs rarely visit. The desert. Furthermore, we pray to the same god, Belial. It was a strategic decision to make an alliance with them. What about the rebels? Yes, right. They still exist too. And you say the war is over. Bah! The rebels raid the farms, blockade the pass to the desert, and rob us whenever they can. They're said to have a major camp up in the west. They call it Nemora. I would love to eradicate Nemora, but I have other worries at the moment. As you know, I would richly reward anyone who manages to smash that camp to bits. Uh... If I can afford it, of course. How are the excavations going? We're digging like lunatics all over the world to find the divine artifacts. So far, our efforts haven't borne as much fruit as we hoped. Only Belion knows if the amulet from the temple in the east really is a divine artifact. I want your divine artifact. Ha ha ha. Why should I give it to you? It's of no value to you. Nonsense. I have other problems, Mora. I still don't have enough gold to keep our part of the agreement with the Hashishin. That cutthroat of a Hashishi, Kabir, has been waiting for an answer from me for days. What do you think will happen if he doesn't get his accursed gold soon? I will bring you the gold for the Hashishin. You want to bring me all the gold? Are you serious? We're talking about 50,000 gold coins. Phew, that's not pocket change. I know that, you moron. But all right. If you actually manage to succeed, then we can talk about the artifact again. I'll see what I can do. Where should I get the gold for the Hashishin? The best way is to visit the farmers in the area and demand the rent. Go to the adjacent temple and have them give you everything they've discovered there. You'll have to get the rest of the gold somewhere else. Sure. 
I don't care how you do it, just do it fast. I see. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching and uh, if you guys like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you want to to have a hardcore run of the gothic series and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go to Namora before we're gonna go to the desert because they reconnect. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.